State Basketball Championship playoff coverage brought to you by Abby's Legendary Pizza and Mid-Oregon Credit Union. It's semi-final Friday at the State Basketball Tournament. Dylan Anderman is live in McMinnville with an update. Dylan? The gym is empty right now, but that's because the boys' semifinal games have ended, and today has been quite crazy. I might lose my media pass because I'm becoming such a fan here at the tournament. The Summit Storm took on the Woodburn Bulldogs earlier today. It was a battle in the first half, but the Summit Storm came out victorious and are headed to the state championship for the third straight year. I talked to seniors Colin Moore and Pearson Carmichael after the game about the game today and the state championship tomorrow. Obviously, our goal is ahead of us, so the fact that we're still in this situation, you know, I'm excited, you know, just got to go out and win tomorrow. On Friday, Pearson Carmichael showed why he's the best player in the state with 19 points in the first half. The scare coming into the game was Woodburn point guard Cruz Belize, but Colin Moore is always up to the task as he held him to seven points. Just defensively, like all around was like big from everyone. We had great rotations. Um, we rebounded well, so it was just a team effort. At the half, the storm led by five. Each team going on runs and delivering blows. But in the second half, the storm came out hot and did not look back. I, mean, I feel good. We're on a little run right now. We're like 17 and 0 since league, and I mean, I don't know if anyone can stop us. So I'm just, I'm just glad that you know we're where, where we want to be, and uh, we'll see how tomorrow goes. This is the last ride for most of the Storm team. Will this be the year they bring home the state title? I mean, it'd be sweet. I mean, closing out my senior year has, has been my dream. So all I care about is winning tomorrow. Third straight year in the state title game, and they'll play a team with a similar resume. The Wilsonville Wildcats is also going into their third straight year. Three years ago, Summit was in 6A, so they didn't play each other. But last year, they played each other, and the Summit Storm was the one seed, but they fell to the Wildcats. So it's a rematch of last year's championship game. But... There's still more basketball today. The Redmond girls are in the semifinals, and they will play in probably around 70 minutes. They take on the number one seed, Silverton Foxes. So can we see two Central Oregon teams in the state championship, and will two Central Oregon teams take the trophy home? Live from Linfield University, Dylan Anderman, News Channel 21.